and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal. What's the turn off for you about women? Hyper independence. Okay. I think, they're, I think they're too good for any man they can provide for themselves and you hold them accountable or keep them in check. They're like, nah, I can't be with you. And it's like, okay, well, good luck. <laughs> Why do you think women are attracted to alpha males and the top men in the world, the top 20% uh, of the men in the world? You're talking about like the hyper successful men? Yeah, hyper successful. Yeah, I think it's just social media. Social media. That's the, you got a lot of people that do the fake it till you make it, then you have the actual hyper successful men. And, that's all women see now. So that's all that's all they got in their mind is I mean if you watch any of these podcasts, they ask the woman like what do you think average salary in the US is? They're all saying hundred K and up. It's average, only like forty five. Yeah, 50, it's like forty 000. to fifty. Yeah, yeah. And they just it's a delusion that they can't seem to get past. Do you believe in there's a gender pay gap? So yes and no. Really so cool. some career fields, absolutely. Mm -hmm. You go to construction. You're not gonna see a single woman out there doing any kind of like you'll you'll see a few welders, I will admit. Mm -hmm. But out in like general construction like what these guys are doing yeah. you're not really going to see a woman they're making probably about double what the women in the corporate office are making but that's because they're out here breaking their backs mm -hmm. but then you have reverse side then you got like let's say the acting industry for example um, what's her name who played uh captain marvel whatever her name is uh, but i forgot her name you know who i'm talking about i know exactly who's talking about. beautiful woman by the way yeah absolutely <laughs> she made ridiculous amount of money in that movie yeah. but then you got the men who are extras in the movie not making jack right. so it's, it's all dependent on career field and you know how hard the woman works there ain't nothing wrong with a hard work woman but in the same breath like this whole pay gap thing go work the hard jobs you'll make the same amount but how could a woman add value to your life my life personally yeah honesty loyalty communication that's it how could an average guy get a good woman nowadays to be honest i don't know if that's possible I don't why know not? If that's possible. To, and it's just, look at the way women are now. I mean, no disrespect to the women out there. Yeah, right. but I mean, look at the way they are now. They carry themselves a certain way where the average man they ignore. Right. They're not going to see the blue collar or hell even white collar guy that's only making 50, 60k. They're going to be looking for Mr. CEO owns his own business running power right. any companies. Okay. But I mean, all my guys out there, good luck. <laughs> do you believe, uh, true or false? Do you believe men have to work? 20 times is harder for women than their grandfathers had to get, that 20 times is worse? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Oh, absolutely. Why? Go talk to any elderly person that's married. Mm -hmm. Go talk to them about what they look, what a woman look for in their husband. Yes. She's going to be like, uh, he was nice, he cared about me, he provided for me, and that's all I ever wanted. Nowadays, like that whole conversation a second ago, certain amount of money, got to dress a certain way, got to be a certain height, got to be a certain build. Like, it's, it's, it's a night and day difference. Man, you got to work twice as hard at least in a financial aspect to attract a woman like that but i don't know that's and that one's kind of like a in opinion kind of deal because you're going to have the men on the flip side that totally disagree they're like oh i don't do nothing and i attract whoever but do you, who do you feel like the prize in a relationship the man or the woman women should always be the prize okay absolutely i don't agree with the whole this whole male generation of being like Super sensitive and in touch with the feelings and being like the emo. Yeah, I'm I'm the, I'm the prize and all that stuff. No, you're not. No, right. you're not. You never the prize. But men are meant to be chasers, hunters. Yeah. You're supposed to be after the chase. You're supposed to like chase after the woman. That's where the thrill comes in. If you just at least for me personally, if a woman just flops over in my lap. Uh -huh. All right. Well, now I'm not interested because that was just too easy. Okay. Do you believe men should approach women in person or on social media? Person. Person, person. every time I do okay. that. What do you think they should say to them if they approach them in person? What should they say? Yeah, what should they, how should they approach them? How should well, they come off? Friendly, not creepy. Don't be a fucking weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> don't right. be like, oh my God, your BBL looks so good. Like, no, don't do shit like that. Just walk up and like, don't be afraid to just, and that's what I think a lot of men are afraid of now is rejection. Mm. Don't be afraid of rejection. You're going to get rejected unless you, you know, you don't take Every, risk. Everybody gets rejected about how you handle it. Exactly. Take it as a lesson learned.